My name is Carrie Allen, and I am a consultant pharmacist. I'm here to talk to you today about the five elements of a great med pass. If you pass meds, you know that there's a lot more than five, but these are the five major basic areas that you should be concerned with when someone's watching you do a med pass, but also just on a day-to-day -day basis. Nasal sprays. Privacy. I can't tell you how many times I see people getting nasal sprays at the table eating with other residents. That's just gross. Let's not do that. Make sure that they're in date. Make sure you wash your hands before, you wear your gloves, you wash your hands after. The resident's gonna blow their nose first to clear that nasal passage. Tilt their head back. We're gonna give them a tissue in case there's drainage. You're gonna shake up that container if you need to and administer the correct dose into the correct nostrils. Things like calcitonin, those things that we use for osteoporosis, is actually only one nostril in one day, and then the next day we put one spray in the next nostril. So make sure you're documenting that and you know which nostril we're putting it in. Clean the top of that sprayer. Don't just stick that up someone's nose, cap it together and stick it in the cart. That's just gross. You want to wipe off the top of that sprayer, make sure it's clean, put the cap on it and store it nicely. You may need to go ahead and store it if you don't have the box or, or it's coming out of the box in a nice plastic baggie as well to keep everything clean. Some sprayers you can use alcohol wipes on, some specifically say you can't because of the plastic, so make sure that you know which ones those are. 